Happy now, all is now. It's a gift to be in the present. Fresh sage sun and back in here, putting on my perception into the cloud of the collective to expand our collective consciousness. You're now tuning into the mind of an alternate moon, and it is Gemini hours. Just uh, just past 11 11. Okay, so uh, this is your moon message. Okay, so we have moon and Leo is gonna this is moon is in cancer right now <clears throat> as I make this video but this is gonna be for tomorrow this is gonna be for tomorrow uh when moon go into Leo okay so basically this is moon and Leo Sun and Libra okay so Sun, yeah, Sun and Libra, 15 degrees, 15 degrees, and uh, Moon and Leo is going to be around that 7 degrees when I want to, that's where I'm pinpointing that, okay, so with this, we got the Moon and Libra making our actions our ego, our vitality, okay, is more geared towards the relationships, wanting to relate more, okay, and uh, basically including people into what we're doing, you know, and we're gonna have this uh, energy, you know, to wanna be have this one-on-one -on -one relationship with somebody okay so libra season cupping season but with moon and leo this is the relationship it makes with the sun is a sextile okay <clears throat> the moon being in leo and the sun being in libra makes a sextile 60 degree angle okay to the to the sun the moon and the sun okay so it sextiles deal with opportunities okay so when again so a moon being in leo is is dealing with uh having being more entertaining okay with our emotional body how we react and respond is gonna be based off of you know what 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 we give our attention to okay so having the opportunities to go about manifesting relationships you know where you where you can relate in a in a way to like relating in a way with the things you give attention to so where both of y'all are into the things that you give attention to okay <clears throat> so with moon being in leo it's gonna be more center stage okay think things come into the light okay emotionally you're gonna be gaining more, uh, let's say, clearance or clairvoyance. And let's say you're gonna be getting confirmations from your emotions as to why you were feeling a certain way, okay? So, We have Mercury, Mercury and Libra as well. Okay. Mercury is in Libra, six degrees, and Moon is in Leo. So this is the opportunities to go about uh, 
communicating on things that you give attention to the opportunities to go about communicating in a in a relatable type way to things you give attention to okay so mercury being in libra that's done with uh communication okay so uh this is the second this is when mercury have having mercury in libra it's more based off of come up pleasurable communication you know communication for the relationship the i would say libra mercury and libra is more fair communication balanced communication listening and then communicating okay you know so i would say libra is the most fair communicators out of all the air signs Okay, because, you know, it's about that balance. Libra is my odds. Okay, so it's about that balance. So Libras are good listeners, at least Mercury and Libra, and uh, good listeners as well as good communicators. Okay, so Mercury... Mercury and Libra, sextile in the moon and Leo, okay? So that's the opportunities to go about communicating in a pleasurable, relatable type way on the things we give attention to. Okay, so moon and Leo, moon and Leo, is is gonna sextile uh venus and leo okay moon and leo sextiling venus and leo okay so not sextiling but conjuncting venus and leo okay so with this it's it's gonna have it's gonna have you're gonna get emotions it's conjunctions play can can play as all the you know all the alignments or the yeah the alignments it can play as all all the synastries but you know it just depends on where <clears throat> You just gotta look at what house what house this is happening in your natal chart okay whatever house this is transiting in your natal chart you'll you can see what what energies you got to use to rectify it but with uh this having moon and leo conjunctive venus and leo is we we actually had this uh energy not too long ago where it plays as you know just fiery passionate love you know for the attention you know and it's just like having so much energies in one area, you know, of Leo, you know, Leo, wherever Leo is, you know, that house, you know, automatically, you know, deserves attention, you know, because Leo is the attention, you know, Leo is the center stage, you know? So, uh, it's like having this moon and uh venus and leo it plays it just plays out as we're gonna be more in in that love light you know we're gonna be lost in that love light emotionally you know that 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 lie you know that that light and illusion of love 
you know so we're it's it's just gonna be it's it's just gonna play out as you know just having things people people places and things that you could be potentially gravitated towards you know so yeah that's moon conjunct venus and we got moon moon sex talent mars and libra moon sex talent mars moon sex talent mars in libra okay so moon sex talent mars in libra this is the opportunities to go about the opportunities to go about uh entertaining your passions you know in a in with entertaining entertain your passions in relationships okay the opportunities to entertain your passions in relationships okay so yeah let's see We got Moon, Square, Jupiter, and Taurus. Moon, Square, Jupiter, and Taurus. So emotionally, we will be learning what we need to do, what we need to, what we need to entertain. Emotionally, we'll be learning what we need to entertain to grow and expand with our material maternal and money and pentacles okay so that's gonna be it first day signing out catch you next